Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at some figures from Haya Toys, some Judge Dredd figures. We've got three of them. We've got Chief Judge Cal, Judge Hershey, and Judge Anderson. <laughs> Alright, now let's quickly take a look at the packaging here. Um, they are all the same pretty much. The only thing different is they do have a little image of the character here in the bottom right corner. These are not collector friendly packaging. Sometimes Haya Toys puts their figures in collector friendly packaging, but for some reason with the Judge Dredd stuff they've chosen not to do that. It does uh, still looks pretty good. Um, it'd be nice always though, you know, for them to have the packaging. I know it's a little bit more extra, so I understand that they probably didn't want to do that. Um, but overall, I do like this packaging. It is in the shape of the Dread uh, Shield. The backs all pretty much look the same. Exquisite Mini is a new standard setting series for 118 scale featuring super articulation action figures from Haya Toys. Got some legalese and things like that here, Hyatt Toys symbol. Overall though, they're pretty good. Um, I did pick these up off of Amazon. They're $19.99 a piece. So I did pick them up. I think what happened was I recently picked up the Judge Dredd Steelbook from Blockbuster, the newer version, not the Sylvester Stallone movie, although I do really like the Sylvester Stallone movie. That's really my first introduction to Judge Dredd. Um, I watched the movie. Um, that I just got and I was inspired um, to pick up some Judge Dredd figures. I do have Judge Dredd and Judge Giant. I believe the Judge Giant video is here on my page. So if you're interested at all and you want to see it, please do check that out. Um, but I was reinvigorated to go back into the Judge Dredd stuff. These figures are fairly inexpensive when it comes to 118, a little bit more than Star Wars The Vintage Collection, but not quite as much as Joy Toy or Acid Rain Toys Alliance figures. Um, and the articulation of Haya Toys is always pretty good, um, if a bit fragile. All right, so those are the packages. Uh, let's get them open. Okay, and here are the three judges out of package. And they are pretty good. Um, they, they have the same limitations that Judge Giant and Judge Dredd have though. But overall, I think they're pretty good figures. Um, the ladies use the same exact body, minus obviously their heads and their badges or their shields here. Um, let's see, Judge Anderson here, her badge, her shield does say Psy because she is a mutant. Um, I think her head sculpt's pretty good. They did a pretty good job with their paint. They put a nice uh, little detail there. She Her ear is showing, her hair is behind her ear, and she does have a little earring there, which is a nice touch. I do like that the green is very gloss. I know on Judge Dredd, um, which was the first figure, his green is not very glossy. And I'll bring him out and Judge Giant here so we can do a little comparison. Um, but her green is very glossy. Um, so is Hershey here. Very nice. Again, her, her badge, her shield is, is different. And obviously her head. They do have a little bit more range of motion than the, the Judge Giant or Judge Dredd. They can do a T-pose. The pauldrons sort of hold the, the gentleman back, where the ladies, maybe because they're more petite, they're smaller, they can get their arms up. Um, but overall, Nice figure, nice detail, nice belt buckle. Looks like extra ammunition. They can hold their gun in the boot. The ladies do come with the exact same accessories, um, two open hands and two holding hands. Um, I guess one of my gripes with Haya Toys is they never package the figure with the hands that you need to hold the accessories. They always pack them with these open hands. And I never use these open hands. I have no reason to ever use them really. Um, unless you're, you know, you're shaking a hand or you're giving someone five or something. There's really no reason to have these open hands on. 
um, does make it is a nice touch you know it's a relaxed hand but to hold the baton or the gun um, you do need to have the other hands on here's the baton it's a nice little short looking baseball bat and here is the gun they all have the same gun all the judges the male judges and these female judges um, and it's always a the the fragility of Haya, you know, when you take that off um, and putting the other one on, there's always that chance it could break. They're a little more fragile than Joy Toy or Acid Rain um, or even the Vintage Collection, the Star Wars stuff, um, because, let's see if I can do this on camera and not break it, the ball joint stays on. The ball joint's on the arm, on the forearm, and then putting the new one on there's always that chance that you can break that ball joint. So I never really like to do that. I usually do the switch and then I never do again. And that one went on quite nice. That wasn't too bad. But you can see her face there. Both of the females are, their heads are painted really well. They both stand fairly good. All three of the figures came with the same stand. This is the same stand that Giant and Dread came with. Got some skulls, very nice textured and then it also comes with these two I or H connecting pieces so you can connect all the bases together. Kind of do a lineup if you wanted of the different figures. All right, so that's the ladies. Now the star of the show, I think, is actually this Judge Cal or Judge Caligula. And after just saying that about the hands, um, I'll say this is probably the one that can have the open hands. He doesn't come with any weapons, um, which is a little sad, a little unfortunate, but he does come with an extra head, a sort of, you know, oh my gosh head and a smiling head. He does come with two more hands. They're also open though, so he doesn't have any holding hands or gripping hands. But he doesn't come with weapons, but he does come with this fishbowl. I don't know the story behind it, but this fishbowl also has a badge or shield. And there's a little teen fish in there. And I can't quite make out what that says on the badge there. I think it says Psy, just like um, Judge Anderson. I think it's a bit hard for me to see, um, but he comes with that and he can just hold that up with those open hands that he came with. It's not the easiest. You got to balance it, but he can hold it. It's an interesting accessory, but no weapons. Um, I think the, the best thing about this figure, besides him just being so unusual, is this cape they've used that sort of spandexy um material that you know if you wear a shirt or something with this kind of material you almost can't feel it can't feel it's on it's very light it does stretch a bit you can see that there um very nice very well done i wish more companies would use this material i mean it does have this giant badge or shield right here on his chest it does flip up it does hang down it does have some their plastic chains there kind of holding it in and the cape goes around it so this is not removable um very cool little star there right in the middle of his neck he does have a different complexion than the rest of the the folks it is very tan very glossy almost clown-like. Don't know the story behind Judge Cal. He does have different um, outfit than everyone else too with the stars here on his knees. That one I, note, I pointed out on his neck. His green is glossy, just like uh, the other figures here. But his, his blue or black uh, part of his uniform is not. And um, he's the only one like that. Even the Dread and the Giant it was a glossy. 
Um, they do sport the very slight drop down hip. Do you have rocker? This is for all the figures. They all do have rocker ankles. They do get a very nice split. They can all sit down. No thigh swivel. He is limited like the dreads that he can't quite do. I'm um, say the judge dread and the judge giant. They're all dreads, right? He can't quite get his arms up any higher because of these pauldrons. But this soft goods is really awesome. It's such an unusual looking figure. At first, that's what kind of kept me away. And it's also what now has drawn me back. It does have that same sort of ammo pouch around the belt, the ab crunch that they all have. Very unusual figure, very nice piece to add to the collection. Um, let's set him back there and let's pull out Dread and Giant. And you can see Dread for some reason, Dread was the only one, he was the first figure. His green is not glossy, it's not metallic, or not metallic, it's not uh, high gloss like the rest of them. Um, and even, there's a slight variation here in the, the blues or blacks of the rest of the uniform. Um, it seems that the Dread does match the girls Cal or Caligula is the only one that's got this sort of matted black blue uniform. Now, I did have one little problem with this dread, so I'm, I'm being very careful with these guys. I did try to get this guy in a really big T pose to see how far I could go, and I did bust off this pauldron. And you can see there, he does have this peg here that that fits in. I can easily just glue that in, and I actually have been just clicking it in. And it pretty much stays there unless you start to move him around. But because of that piece there, he really can't go any higher than that. I'm sure someone could shave that off or dremel it off or something and put this on and, and it would give you that mobility. But that's one of the things that this guy is lacking. That's pretty much all he can do. And that's the same for the ladies as well. They've, they're smaller arms, so they can you know get up that, that far. But it, the range of motion, you know, it's just not there that you get with some other figures. But it's not, I don't think, Haya's fault because this is the original design of the comic book character, how he looked. Very impractical, um, but still looks pretty cool. Um, but that is them. I've started to build quite a police force we've got here. Um, I do have another um, Dread on order, the newest one that comes with the soft goods. Um, where he's out in sort of the, I forgot what they call it, the, not the Savage Land, but he's he's left Mega City 1, um, and he's out there. So I do have that on pre-order, and I still need to get the ones with the bikes. I am interested in the, the judges that come with the bikes. There's a Dread and I think an Anderson that come with a motorcycle, which I would like to get eventually. Um, overall... I think the Caligula, the Judge Cal, is so weird and unique um, that he's probably worth grabbing. Um, let's do a quick little size comparison. I do have a Haya Toys uh, Robocop here. This is the Kick Me version. You can see he lines up pretty well with them. If I can get him to stand. I've always had a little bit of trouble with one of the ankles on this, this Robocop. See how he kind of teeters there. Here's the Padre from the Joy Toy Corvus Belly Infinity. I did a review on. Um, let's put Anubis in there. See if I can get him in there without knocking everybody over. Anubis is quite big for a 118 figure. And let's throw in a Boss Fight Studio. I love this Phantom figure. Fits right in. The girls are actually a little bit taller than him. And let's see. Got a Star Wars Vintage Collection Anakin here, who is more of a true 375. 
It seems to fit well with these, these dreads. So there's your size comparison. Very good figures. I like them. Um, if you're in a Judge Dread at all, I, I don't see a reason why not to get them. Like I said, they're not that expensive. They're not the cheapest. But I think what you get, um, the sculpts, as good as they are, um, this is the only 118 Judge Dread thing, you know, out there. They're worth the pickup. All right. So that is my overview of Judge Anderson, Judge Hershey, and Judge Cal from the Hyatt Toys Exquisite Mini Judge Dread line. All right. I'm going to shoot some photos now. I hope you'll stick around and look at those, and I will catch you next time.